Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome to my basement on this day where I'm doing something that's new to me, a little bit out of my comfort zone, but you saw the thumbnail, you know why we're here. It is Godzilla minus one that I will be watching. Why, why? Okay, so this is why. When I started out with this channel a few years ago, my purpose, my goal was to just talk about story and characters and dialogue, and then also talk about why certain things would connect with viewers, why things may not connect with viewers, that whole viewer creator relationship. And because of that, it encouraged me to watch shows I normally would not watch like Deadwood and The Last of Us and The Expanse. I would have missed out on The Expanse. So in an attempt to broaden my horizons a little bit more, we're watching Godzilla Minus Ones. Why? Because I heard this is like one of the best films of 2023. Have I seen any other Godzilla films? No, I've seen 10 seconds here or there. I'm aware of Godzilla. It's a little bit of the lore, but this is not something I would go, yes, I must see. Am I aware that this was something that should have been enjoyed on the big screen? Yes, my screen's not so bad. It's pretty, what is this? I don't know, it's big, it's too big. <laughs> it's a big screen. Now, because this is something so out of something I'm normally drawn to, I must state my disclaimer. I have to, especially if you're, this is the first time you're here with my channel, which is everything I'm gonna say is only my opinion. It's based on my experiences, past life experiences, research, observations. You and I may react to things differently because we have led different lives and that's okay. And also make me why I'm a little bit apprehensive because if I don't enjoy this as much as other people enjoy it, it is what it is. It is what it is, but I'm hoping to be entertained. That's all I want is I want to be entertained. So if you're ready, I'm ready. We're gonna get under the big cozy blanket, although I'm not as freezing as I usually am today. Uh, I have also on hand, I'm doing club soda and a little bit of lime today. I hope you have your favorite beverage as well. And you're gonna remember that full episode, watch along episode, full movie watch along will be available on Patreon. Love to see you there. Okay, y'all. Okay, let's get to it. しましょういですよね。筑波海軍航空隊の整備分隊にいた立花です。覚えておられますか立花さん。この島のあなただらけの滑走路によくあの粗悪品を下ろせましたね。相変わらず腕は確かなようだ。模擬空戦の成績がい
Too late. Too late. You have attracted its attention. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh. It flung him? It didn't eat him. It flung him. Okay. So he's more more just squishing these little things and not out to eat them. So what does it, cause he's not eating them, he's flinging these bodies. What is it that he's after? Well, what are you gonna do, sir? I'll draw it this way, shoot it. Passing out probably kept him alive. Are you the sole survivor? Who laid him all out and all nice and covered? Another failure on his part. When he let fear take over him. Now, would it have worked? I don't know. But he was too scared to try. <laughs> um, so where did Godzilla go? <laughs> Is it still on the island? What? Oh no. I didn't pay attention, this is the first date. Did we go back in time? Oh no, where did we go ahead in time? Oh no. The fact that you're here means you're dishonorable. Oh no. Wouldn't tell you if I knew is the look on her face. So is this when we watch Oppenheimer next? Which I have not seen. Oh, that survived. Oh, family letters. That's what that was. <gasps> she gave him a baby? <laughs> okay. Wow. Yeah, but oh. <laughs> he almost did though. He almost did. She doesn't know if he has anything. No, it looks like nobody has anything, but he could have less than anything. I have a feeling there's a lot of babies like that who are left alone. They all look as if they're dressed very similar with whatever they can find. I don't think they have the opportunity to be too choosy, sir. I think he has new roommates now. Oh, 
how old were her children when they were killed? Oh. Oh. To do what? To do what, though? You may not come home. That's why I get paid in advance, pumpkin. Please don't come back. Does she know he was a pilot? How much have they shared? No. Nope, I think it's just a boat. <笑>米軍と帝国海軍は日本の沿岸に合わせて約6万隻。60,000。60,000。Oh man, I you hope you hit it? That's the strategy. That's, the strategy. That's what he's there to do, right? That's the strategy. 60,000 of those, eh? Oh, that's what the war was not glorious. Must be a dream. So we didn't see him get off the island. Why didn't we see him get off the island? How? How did he get off the island? Oh, that's a theory. The man has PTSD. Do not blame him. Don't know what that means. Don't know what that means. Can afford a cycle now? Wow. Oh, they got new siding. <laughs> yeah. So what is there? What is there? Just. 
just roommates, eh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, do not, don't. But you are. Bam. But you have it. You have it. But you have it. And how does she feel about it? How does she feel about that? A year, two years later? We're two years later now, right? Did she get a job? Are they moving? She's moving out. <laughs> yeah, because you've been telling people for the last two years you don't want this. So, in these two years, nobody else has talked about Godzilla. At all. Mm-hmm.。あれ見てください。Yeah, <gasps> what are those things? Floating deep sea fish. A deep sea fish. バカ家、そんなもの現実いるかよ。寝ぼけて敵の戦車が何か。全然てもらえないでしょうね。でも大島の守備隊はその5時だに全滅させられたんですよ。あの部隊は米軍と戦って極戦したんじゃ。大島は
跑。Don't, don't freeze up this time. Don't freeze up this time. Gotta shoot an eyeball or someplace soft. What are its soft targets? Do you have to let it swallow it? Why is it there away? It's just... I was gonna shoot it out. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Can you... So, let's say... Let's say they make it to shore. With Godzilla on their tail. Do they just bring Godzilla to, to, to their shores? What? What? No. This is terrible. Why do you have this ability? Why does it have a healing ability? How do you de how do you defeat that? How, 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 how do you defeat regeneration? You're not done. You saw it heal. Half of its skull and face was <laughs> away and it regenerated. Not for long, why are you still there? Okay, so is Godzilla just like undefeatable? And if it's undefeatable, then what's the point? こちらは東京方面に向かっていました。早く避難指示を出さないと大変なことになります。政府はこの情報を国民に伏せています。混乱を恐れてのことでしょう。Because where was he supposed to go instead? Will we find out? Oh. Oh, that's what happened. Okay. Okay. But he did more than the time before. You tried. You tried your hardest.
Mm -hmm. You're doing a pretty good job of living if you're not supposed to live. Is she going to point that out to him? のりこさんに何が分かるって言うんですか分かります私の両親は日に明かれながら生きろと言いましただから私はどんなことがあっても死んではいけないそう思ってきましたあいつらは毎晩毎晩夢に出てくるんです何ですしか生きながらえてる
Because if this is CGI, it looks amazing. Yeah, Pumpkin, what are you doing? <gasps> you made it there? Yeah, survive. What about your parents? They said survive. Survive. They're straight and straightforward. I would run out. I wouldn't stop. I keep moving. Quite as you know, it doesn't stop. It doesn't stop. It is powering up. Run. Just run. How do you stop this? How do you, how do they, how do they stop this? Where's this blaming fire? Yeah, this is bad. she jump with him why didn't she jump with him she's gone she's gone what happened to survive I must survive is he the only one is he the only one in the vicinity, what? That's why. Radiation? Radiation. Oh, they paid their respects. That was nice. But she shouldn't have died. Yeah, what now?困った時は But you know, your little gun, airplane gun would not have done anything. You saw everything that was thrown at Godzilla. Your little boop, boop, boop would not have done anything. He's in. He looks like he's in. That's a great little handicap they put on them there. Great little handicap. <laughs> oh, Doc! You got information!簡単な実験をご覧に入れます。ここに入っているのは海水と同じ濃度の塩水です。この状態でチューブからフロンガスを送り込み、木片を泡で包むとどうなるでしょう。どうなるでしょうって。何も泡が出ようが浮いたままだ
goes away. That's it? That's the plan? That's the plan? We're just gonna case it in bubbles and sink it to the bottom of the ocean? You hope? <laughs> Very good question, sir. That you know of. It's a very honest answer. <laughs> he wants it destroyed. Tokyo Balloon Company. A life preserver for who, though? Not Godzilla. Ah. So they're going to sink it, hope it gets crushed. And then they're going to bring it right back up quickly from the bottom to crush it again? Or to see if it's crushed. Yeah, they're just kind of letting you float in the breeze there. これには家族がいます。俺だけじゃない。ここにいる奴の大半がそうだ。我々だけがなぜ貧乏苦情を引かねばならんのですか。うん。ここの事情がある方は帰ってもらって構わない。それを止める権利は我々にはない。Okay, well, not as many as I thought. Some are staying. これ。絶対死ぬってわけじゃないですよね。もちろんです。じゃあ、戦時中より随分マシだ。じゃあ、仕方ないんじゃないですか。俺たちじゃ船は動かせねえわけだし。<laughs> <laughs> 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 And he stayed. And again, what makes him think there's only one? Where did it come from? If one came from it, why can't more? Is my question. I'm sure he will welcome it. まんが一奴が上陸しても銃撃して怒らせれば相模湾に誘導できます。ああ、そうだね。そもそも戦闘機は船よりははるかに身軽に動けます。わざわざ宇宙を通されに行くってことがお前やけになってんじゃねえか。
Okay, so it's not a crop duster. Oh. Oh, this is not a crop duster. Oh. I was gonna go backwards. Huh, that's an idea. Especially not by you. He is showing signs of desperation now. He is on edge. <gasps> he didn't hear him following him. <laughs> With a stick. He did not hear him following him. His little shuffly footsteps. <laughs> Where's Akiko? That's what he wrote. That's what he wrote. Wow, that's what he wrote. Hmm. Oh, he had tied him up. That's his plan? That's his plan. That is his plan. But he saw, even with the side of his head, it still regenerated. That is his plan! Oh, and he shaved. He shaved too. Oh, he's come to work. Oh, we hope. We hope. しかし Oh, the balloon guys are dying. The balloon guys are dying. And kiss them goodbye. Oh. Oh, 
民間主導の本作戦では今度の戦いは死ぬための戦いじゃない未来を生きるための戦いなんです Look at you go, Dr. Nido. So you hug Kiko and tell her daddy loves her. <laughs> Will he stay behind? Oh, we leave you the future. We leave you the future. Oh, Captain. Is that an ejection seat? Look at those little shoes. <gasps> so Noriko. <laughs> what did they do to make this child cry for this scene? What did they do to her? <laughs> what did they do in order to make her cry? How did they stick her with the pin? Because she went from okay to in tears in a nanosecond. <laughs> but you plan on flying a plane into Godzilla's mouth. Oh, how's he going to survive this? If he survives this. <laughs> So do uh, Dr. Noda, does he know what it's, what's being planned? That, he, that all these weapons are going on this plane? I want to go. 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's gonna... Wait. Wait. Ejector seat. For half a second, I was wondering if he was telling him it was the bomb safety, but it was actually the ejector seat, and he wasn't going to tell him it was the ejector seat. <laughs> he left her in the house and didn't say, Hey, I left. Keep an eye on the little child next door. <gasps> oh. The fish! Wow, that was kind of instantaneous. <laughs> this was all CGI, not practical. I mean, I'm sure a lot of it is CGI, but it looks great. No, he snuck on. He snuck out somewhat, somehow. <laughs> oh no Oh the little picture doctor no what I took Oh no Oh they're gonna salute him They saluted him
Okay, I can't keep still. So if I'm shaking, see me shaking, I'm shaking and I'm just gonna be shaking. Um, fellas, you're supposed to be surrounding it. But if it's on land, how can you surround it if it's on land? Well, good thing he had plan B on hand. Too late. I made plans. <laughs> oh. Just look for the plumes of smoke and dust and debris. Wait, Godzilla's not heading for their little village, is it? Did Noriko survive? Did Noriko survive? <laughs> oh, he peeled people! Oh, no! The carnage. <laughs> Here's the thing. This has not been violent or gory, but the carnage has been dist I've been distressed with the destruction. Because when you have a, a, a villain, for lack of better terms, this obstacle that is seemingly indestructible feels so hopeless. And I'm hopeless. I... Uh, I don't want to be more disappointed. <laughs> like I'm, I'm already sad. I don't know if I want to be sadder because right now it seems hopeless. He at least is doing his thing. He's leading him to the who is he? What's it? They are all right close together. I feel like they should be spread out more. Okay. I'd feel better if the ships came up on the sides, not straight at it. Yeah, that's why they shouldn't have all been in a row. Well, oh, it's a fake ship. That's a fake ship. Decoy ship. Oh. You hope. You hope. God, I wish it wasn't coming straight at him. Wow. 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 That is some piloting right there. Too bad they didn't have more than a couple of planes to <laughs> wrap the things around them. That looks like a very tiny belt. That does not look big enough. Oh no! Oh no! Get inside at least! Get inside! Well, at least that will distract it. So where was this uh, balloon raft that was going to bring it back up to the surface? And then they're going to bring it back up to the surface. Nope. <laughs> So where's the raft? <laughs> so, okay, so the raft was in the pods. Okay, raft was in the pods. Wonder if they can bring it back down. Just keep sucking it back. 
Why? <gasps> it broke free. So where is it? Mm-hmm. Keep going! I have a question. So Godzilla can swim? Because if he was above the thing that was 1,500 meters, he was just floating? Oh, no, it's the kid! And what are you going to do, little tugboats? That's the plan. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. So yeah, Godzilla's up there doing all this thing. It didn't look like he was swimming. Or do you think acted the float? Am I thinking about this too hard? I'm thinking about this too hard, aren't I? But that's what I do. Yeah, and it's every bit as pissed off as before. And it's ready to blow you all down. Where are you, Shimishima? I can't remember how to say his name. No! No, 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 no. <gasps> no. You know what he's doing. He knew there was an ejector seat. But they're still not safe yet. Because you wanted him alive. You wanted him alive. But we don't know if Godzilla's really dead. It's still got radiation. Is it regenerating? You blew the top of its head off. It should die, but... Oh, there we go. Okay, I feel much better now. Oh, I feel much better now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> that better me. She's alive. Oh, they're in a hospital. They're in a hospital. Does she remember who they are? <laughs> I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> this 
thing better be dead. Mother truckers. I was afraid of that. I was afraid of that. Oh. I'm trying to gather my thoughts and put them in a way I can expel them that will be coherent. I don't even know if that made sense. <laughs> I'm still processing. This is such a classic redemption story. If you're in for a redemption story, Godzilla minus one, because we have our protagonist, he did not die his honorable death. Unforetold people died because he did not sacrifice himself. Gets to this island, same thing again. He's expected to sacrifice himself, or at least make an effort, too afraid, fails yet again. And each time he's confronted with possible death, somehow escapes it, either his own actions or the, just the world around him, he's gonna make the big play at the end and does. Redemption arc, is his war over? Technically, yes. But as I said earlier, when we have something like a Godzilla, which is this obstacle that is indestructible, and you see, it was pretty clear from the beginning to the Odo Island incident, Guns weren't gonna take it out. Oh, we figured that as much. But then we had them in, in the water, that first water battle, and we saw its head blown up and healed itself. And now it became a, oh no, for me, again, it's hopeless. How, how do you defeat this? And then when Dr. Noda came out with his, we're gonna sink it with bubbles. Maybe it's the American in me. I was expecting something as big as Godzilla to take it out. <laughs> you have something as massive and ah, and you're going to take it by sinking it with bubbles. Because <laughs> we knew this was taking place in America and anything, you know, they were going to nuke it. They were going to nuke it. So, <laughs> but it wasn't set in America in currently or more times, it was Japan. Back when, again, the hobbling of what they were able to do by post-World War II Soviet-US relations, they did commission a bunch of military things in Japan, having them that hobble our people trying to save themselves, great plot device, excellent. So how are we gonna defeat the Godzilla? And then we think we defeated Godzilla, but no, we didn't. So it's just gonna happen again. Huh. So the redemption arc storyline was great. Well done. You felt his guilt every time. Is it Shimishima? Why do I don't know? I messed it up, but I'm so sorry. But he would try to have a little bit of hope, and then something happened, knock him down. And a little bit more hope, and knock him down. But the whole time you see him building a community, you see him building a family base and a friend base because he really wanted to live but felt guilty about doing it. So that whole part of the story was wonderful, excellent. The visuals looked practical. Godzilla looked great. Although his head looked a little bit tinier compared to the rest of his body, that proportion was odd, but I mean, he looked great. The destruction looked great. The sea voyage looked great. And what surprised me most, okay, so as I said, I haven't really watched a Godzilla film before. None of the earlier OG originals, no. None of the more recent ones that have been out. But the sense I get from watching trailers and the few clips that I have seen, especially of the more recent last 20 year ones, is that it's all about the destruction. How much can we have Godzilla just lay waste? And this movie didn't have that. It was more about the people Godzilla came in and laid waste, but that's not why we were here. It was the story of Shinshimita getting his redemption 
So I found that intriguing. So I'm not sure if that is indicative of more recent Godzilla stories that it's all about Godzilla and destruction, or if we do have more time with the people than we do with the monster. Was this a great film? Yes. Excellent? Yes. Would I recommend it? Yes. Is it my most favorite movie? No. And that's because of what I look for in a story. And I think this may be me. And I'd be interested to know if it might be with others also. But when I'm with a story, I'm really, I love the whys. The whys to me are magic, especially if the whys make sense and are laid out very nicely. And especially if something is really crazy pants out there that you have no idea why it's there. And then it comes together and you see, oh no, this gels. I love the whys. And in Godzilla, we were missing a bunch of it. How did Godzilla come to be? Where does he live? Is there more of them? How do we destroy them? What's his goal? What's his, what does he want? Why is he there? We got none of that. So it's very obvious to me that in this story, the why, the why of Godzilla didn't mean anything. We were here for the redemption story. That's fine. That's fine. That is fine. But because I personally didn't get any of those whys about why Godzilla was Godzilla, I feel a bit of a disconnect from the movie because I want a bigger tie for Godzilla to be here and there when he was. And he's just there. He just popped him in because, and I want to know why. <laughs> so again, that might be just a me hang up. If it's not, if you also enjoy the whys as well, I would love to hear it. So that's the only negative I would say for me personally about this movie is that I wanted more of the why about why Godzilla, how is he able to exist? I would like to know that because they set it up for a sequel. Are we going to get a minus two or was this a minus one? Because the next one's just going to be Godzilla. Why is it called Godzilla minus one? Yeah, that's it. There are my two cents about Godzilla minus one, but it was fun and it was fun to do this with all of you as well. So, okay, do not be strangers. If you haven't already, please hit subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Is this your favorite Godzilla film? Is there another one that you enjoyed more? Was there something you wanted to see here or was there something that surprised you? Let me know down in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. And before next time we meet again, please take care of yourselves. This is your reminder to stand up if you haven't in a while, go eat something substantial and then come back and watch the next video in the queue. So thanks again, y'all, and until next time.